Alright, welcome today. Uh, good morning. Uh, we are going to talk about uh, soil today. And of course, soil from Brava. We've got three types of soil today. We've got plant lava, we've got kaya mix, and also we've got veggie mix. So, how to help you to choose the right soil uh, for your plants. So, we're going to help you with that. I mean, like, there is not like a definite wrong or right answer for this, but there is a better uh, choice, of course. Okay, so we're going to start with the plant lover. Okay, so the the signature thing about this plant lover is it's a six in one because it's con it contains all of this goodness in this soil mixture. We've got coco peat, burn earth, I mean like burn topsoil, river sand, burn husk, rich hummus, and charcoal powder. So each of these uh, got their own uh, specific properties and benefits for your plants. We um, suggest that if you want to have your indoor plants like your um, Sansevira or maybe um, your uh, uh, aloe vera to have planted inside to have this kind of soil. Okay, It's very light, yeah, it's light in texture. You can see that it has got lots of this um, coconut uh, fiber thing going on. So it's going to give a very good aeration uh, for your plants. All right, okay. So since um, it has got this uh, charcoal powder, so you know, sometimes when you have your uh, plants, like many plants in the uh, indoor like in your room or in your living hall if the ventilation is not that good it's going to cause a lot of order yeah since this this uh, soil got the charcoal powder it's going to help somewhat deodorize um, your living hall okay so that you have can have uh, beautiful plants without compromising the the freshness uh, of your ambience okay so let's look at uh, the uh, ph of this plant uh, soil sorry so the pH is about 6.5, okay? So it's slightly acidic. So that's about uh, pretty much what uh, most plants would love to have, okay? So uh, this plant, this soil, it's good, no animal dung. So if you are completely kosher, vegan and things like that, do not have to worry. Uh, it's guaranteed not to have any animal residue in it. So it's very, very good and environmental friendly. Right, okay, to our second um, soil. This is the kaya mix soil. So kaya mix is uh, something that we would call something in between. You can use the soil for, for indoor plants and also you can use the soil for, 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 for outdoor. Okay, not to the degree of um, the, uh, the farming skill, but uh, if you want to grow your chili, your tomato or your eggplant, you can use this soil, right? So about the texture, uh, it is slightly softer in terms of texture if you compare it to the plant lover next to it because the plant lover got more coconut uh, fiber in it. This one, it hasn't got the coconut fiber or it doesn't promise to put um, any river sand in it. But okay, I want to show you something. Kaya Mix got this thing. Uh, I saw it actually earlier. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I'm looking for, yeah, I found that guy. Can you see that? Yeah, that thing. This is the slow release fertilizer. So yeah, Kaya Mix, um, it's an organic multi-purpose planting mix, which is infused with a slow release fertilizer. So it's going to be very beautiful, beneficial for plants in general, for your fuller plants, if you've got the flower, uh, shrubs, or uh, maybe some, some vegetables, both leafy and also fruits, right? Okay, so let's see um, what is the pH going to like. Yeah, it's low. It's about, um, this is quite low, around, around 5, 5 to 5.5. So the soil uh, for Kaya Mix is slightly more acidic um, than uh, the plant lover that we saw earlier. Is it going to harm your plant? No. pH between 5.5 to 6.5 are going to make your plants very, very happy. And in fact, um, some flowers like rose and, uh, you know, the, the 
balsam flower they they are going to be flowering if the soil is slightly acidic so a choice like this is going to be very beneficial for your flowering plants okay and then finally we have a look at this third soil this is the organic veggie mix this is um, something that we do not suggest you to use for your um, indoor gardening i mean like if you have a balcony if you want to grow um, chili or, or pumpkin that, that's fine i mean like the indoor like the the sansevira something that you completely have in your study room okay this soil is meant to be uh, plants or crops that are going to be yielding abundantly okay if you can see on the back here this soil is actually because it's so good it's ideal for melon and vegetables okay if you look at the color if i can compare the color this soil is actually it's not as dark or as black as the previous two that we saw the plant lover and the kaya mix it's just slightly brown because in the formulation they they add the the pit moss and also the husk okay so these are going to give even more proper uh, uh, drainage to the soil and also better nutrient holding capacity okay the reason why this soil is is very good uh, for for melon and vegetables because it is naturally high in potassium and as we know potassium is very important for um, fruit uh, formation okay so you can use this soil if your project involves um, something like you know like a big uh, vegetable leafy vegetable if you want to have your uh, cabbage lettuce uh, or maybe you want to have something even more than that like the uh, tomato uh, like your eggplant and so on right okay so let's have a look at the soil pH here yeah 6.5 and 7 yeah yeah mostly it, it was 7 when i tested earlier so this soil is actually approaching neutral in temperature so we got if your the ph is the concern of your planting material so you know that 7 ph neutral ph 6.5 slightly acidic oh sorry this is 5.5 uh, acidic soil and this is 6.5 uh, just slightly acidic so it depends uh, which one uh, that you want to choose okay all right the frequently asked question is how much do i need uh, for 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 my um for my pot we're going to demonstrate that so today we are going to demonstrate using um baba 150 rd 150 flower pot we're going to see how much the soil that you need so we're going to measure um the empty pot first we're going to tear it okay for plant lover you're going to need about see fill it up all the way to the brim i mean like just below the brim yeah yeah something like that <clears throat> you're going to need you're going to need about yeah just below 700 gram of um uh, soil for plant lover to fill in rd150 flower pots okay you're going to need about 670 gram okay for kaya mix let's see how much soil do you need because the soil got different formulations so the density is different so certainly you're going to need um, different volume of soil to fill in to your flower pot okay Let's look at that so for kaya mix you're going to need slightly less than that you only need about 600 gram only yeah that's as we expected because this soil feels more gentler it's uh it's more fluffy actually the texture compared to the flan uh, lover okay, and finally for the organic veggie mix you are going to need let's see that's good enough let's see how much soil do you need for veggie mix yeah so for veggie mix you are going to need one two okay and for the um 
organic veggie mates uh, to fill in a baba flower pot rd150 you are going to be needing about 630 grams of the soil okay so 670 gram to fill in the flower pot 600 gram to fill in the flower pot 630 gram to fill in the flower pot so the quick conclusion that we can make is um uh, you are not going to be missing a lot i mean like sometimes uh you're going to have more water and then the soil is going to come down so uh, just just uh, give you some rough approximation of how much the soil you're going to need uh, so that you can buy correct amount uh, of it okay so that's all for today um, i'll see you in the next review uh, happy gardening bye